Hello, welcome to another video in Systems of Linear Inequalities. In this video, we're going to talk about the relationship between the system and its graph. Now, what we've done in previous videos is I, was, I would give you the system of linear inequalities and we'd go ahead and graph it. Now, we've done a few videos on that already. This video, what we're going to do is I'm giving you the graph. I'm giving you the shaded region. I want to know what is the system. Now, in order to figure out what the system is, we have to look at each of these lines separately. So let's take a look at the first one. x plus y, the bottom one right here. Now right now it equals 2, but if as an inequality, it's either going to be greater than or equal to 2, or x plus y less than or equal to 2. It's one or the other. Okay. And so the, the easiest way of doing this is, well, if it's going to have to be this one, well, check it or you can graph it separately if you'd like but if it's going to be this one which point does not work like um because again when you would graph this line right here this is x plus y equals two how would you know which side to shade you'd pick a point evaluate the inequality and see if it works so let's see can you tell me a point that won't or would work well let's see how about this point right here this looks good uh two comma two so 2 comma 2 is in my shaded region. Well, which which inequality would work for 2 comma 2? So let's take a look at this one. So 2, you know, let's, yeah, 2 plus 2 plus 2. Is that greater than or equal to 2? Okay, well, that's 4 greater than or equal to 2, and that does work, which means this is the correct inequality. Now, just to verify, what happens if you were to use this point 2 comma 2 with this inequality? It would be 2 plus 2 less than or equal to 2. That would be 4 less than or equal to 2. And that is not true. So this would be the bad inequality. So here's our first inequality. So let's go down here. I'm going to write it as x plus y greater than or equal to 2. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next inequality we have. So that would be 9x plus 5y equals 90. So that's our equation. As in, equ in inequality, it's going to be less than or equal to 90 or 9x plus 5y greater than or equal to 90. So which one is it going to be? Well, we have our test point, and we know that this point must work, this 2 comma 2. So let's see what happens when we plug it in. We'll get 9 times 2 plus 5 times 2. Is that less than or equal to 90? Well, this is 18, and this is 10. So we got 18, 10, that's 28. Is 28 less than or equal to 90? Yes. OK. So the this inequality is the correct one. Again, if you want to check to verify what happens if you were to plug it into the other one, we get 9 times 2 plus 5 times 2. Is that greater than or equal to 90? And again, it's not, because this right here will equal 28, and that is not greater than 90. So we have this inequality up here. So let's write that down at the bottom. So 9x plus 5y less than or equal to 90. And we have one more inequality. So for the last inequality, it's going to be 3x plus 5y, either going to be less than or equal to 60, or 3x plus 5y greater than or equal to 60. And again, you pick a point that you know is going to work, which is 2 comma 2, and you plug it in. So we're going to get 3 times 2 plus 5 times 2, is that less than or equal to 60? And it is, because this is 6, and this is 10, so that's 16. It's definitely less than 60. So this is my inequality. So let's go down and write it with the other ones. We have 3x plus 5y less than or equal to 60. So, so far, this is my system. But if you, one thing that you may not see and it's not written down, but notice that the shaded regions don't go over here. 
and they don't go down here. So what does that mean? Well, we have two additional uh, restrictions. We know that since it's, you can see that the shaded region is restricted to the first quadrant, that means x has to be greater than or equal to 0, and y has to be greater than or equal to 0. So as a system, okay, this system represents the graph that's up here. 